All right, guys, we are hooked up to the camper and we are getting ready to head to Millwood State Park, which is in Arkansas. And it's just a little ways up the road from us. It's not gonna be too big of a journey. And we are going to set the pop-up up and enjoy it. Sometimes we like to go someplace and just stay and enjoy all the stuff that we purchased. You know what I mean? Now I do have the set power plugged into the house right now. And I'm really shocked at how much we can get in this. Uh, I believe this is AJ40. I've got it set on 33 and that sucker holds 33 very well. But man, I've got, there's hamburger meat, there's candy bars, biscuits, cinnamon rolls. Actually two things, cinnamon rolls. There's some pie dough sour cream eggs cokes cheese i mean there's just all kinds of stuff in there plenty well hope plenty to make it to a weekend for sure one person even longer really digging it uh i have talked to them and they are going to go ahead and send me a cover for it so that was nice of them uh so looking forward to getting it soon and then we'll put it on there and see how it does now, I know I got this packed pretty good with the R vents. I have spaces on each side for that thing to vent out. But uh, I just put our clothes and stuff like that back here, temporary. And we're gonna try, it's gonna actually get down to the 40s this weekend. So actually, I'm bringing our Kimi Moto jackets, hoodies. This is a hoodie with electric battery powered heaters in it. And then this bag, we've got two, I think three vests, different vests that we're going to try out and get some pictures of and share with y'all. So uh, that'll be coming up soon. But this is what it looks like, uh, you know, when we're packed up, ready to go camp. And it really gave me so much more room. Before I was using the ISCO 60 liter or 60 VL uh, dual zone. And that pretty much took up the whole hatch area. Couldn't really put nothing else in there with it. Now, I have powered this with my Victor power station. It's kind of like a Jackery 500. They're pretty similar. But the Victor, I, I'm liking it. Uh, the other day, my wife had to drive my Jeep to work. And uh, hers was getting some maintenance done at the dealership. And I had this set power plugged into the uh, Victor power station, and then the Victor power station was plugged into the Jeep. So when it was driving, it was charging. But anyway, she took it to work, and this set running all day while she was at work. And uh, she come back, and it was still plenty, you know, plenty of power. It could just keep on going. And a short drive charges it back up pretty quick. It just don't seem to use much power at all, especially when it's loaded. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm tickled. And like I said, that, that uh, ISCO 60 liter for a hatch, it just takes up too much space. Now, if you're in a pickup like I used to be, man, that thing is great. And uh, I've had that, I think, going on three years. The uh, button display panel on that ISCO, some of the buttons got to where they wouldn't, respond to my punches so they uh, sent me another uh, the instrument cluster digital part and I reinstalled it and it's going strong again no issues so I look forward to hoping to get at least another three years out of that ice co but anyway uh, this is a little better suited for the Cherokee and for like I said uh, uh, there's no issue packing enough food in there to make it on a weekend adventure i was really surprised at how much i got in there and on i put enough sodas to keep them cold if we want one we can get one out and it's cold but i also keep them stored elsewhere that way i just kind of put a few in as we go that way there's just not a whole lot of sodas in there but anyway uh looking forward to our camping adventure going to try to share as much of it with you as we can uh, we also have our airlift bags 
on the Cherokee aired up to 30 PSI since we're towing the camper and uh, man it just it sets perfect and it absorbs the bumps so much better and it actually keeps it from being as bouncy so yeah uh, that's a I think a must if you're towing something with a little bit of tongue weight on it now this thing tows really good and I'm not even going to use a sway bar this trip since we're not going that far. But I've really never had any issue with sway. But I've run the sway bar just in case. But like I said, no further than we're going. We're not going to run it this trip. But anyway, stay tuned as Millwood State Park is coming up. Okay, again, I have our Coleman oven on top of our Elite uh, griddle, and I just take the griddle top off and set the Coleman oven on top of it, and I'm uh, medium low, and we're at 300 and some, and we've got a pan of cinnamon rolls in there. And they're cooking just fine. This is the way to use your Coleman oven if you don't have to put stuff in the bottom of it to keep stuff from burning. So these are the cinnamon rows coming out of that oven. They did really good, no burning. And Ashley is putting the icing on top. And these are those sister, how do you say that? Schubert's? Schubert. Schubert's from Wally World. Sure, other places sell them too. It's just where we got them. But cooking with the Coleman oven on top of the grill. Unless it's more cinnamon right there, there's a little bit of a dark spot there. Yeah, I think so there's it's cinnamon a little uneven. there. I think that's cinnamon. It may not be, but. It... I, mean, I might have took them out just a little bit sooner. But uh, they look pretty doggone good. I have burnt stuff so bad in that oven before. Until I learned that it's best to put it on that. What do you call it? It's like a black stone. It's a generic black stone. But take, the camper. take that top off. Throw the oven on there. And there you go. Don't have to put line the bottom of that oven with nothing. And this was on the mill rack. And I could go from like under 300 say 250 up over 375 with the controls all 
All right, we want to cover the Wii Boost real quick. With the Wii Boost, I was able to post a short to YouTube, and before I turned it on, I was having issues getting it to post. So that definitely helped there. We have had we had cell signal without the Wii Boost, but it was just way slow. Now that we have the Wii Boost and turned it on, it did speed things up. And we also were able to use it inside the camper. So we're just a little ways away from the actual unit and we could still uh, receive effects from it. So that was pretty cool. So we didn't actually have to be right on top of the unit that's mounted on the dash in here. Now I did make that to where it just velcroed on. I can take it out and I can run it out the back of the Jeep. And then I could put that right through the bunk right there. And we would have it right inside the camper with us. But I didn't need to do that. So very happy with that. The set power refrigerator AJ40 it's great man it held temperature right there never moved stayed right there the whole time and uh, I have it plugged in the shore power right now but we have a plug in the Jeep right here we plug into when we're going down the road or I have a Victor power unit which I actually have the WeBoost plugged in right now so we just leave the WeBoost on full time and there's the vector power unit and you can see that the Wii Boost is plugged in right there and it's been on a couple days now and we're at 72 percent and this has also uh, powered the set power refrigerator for a little bit so great okay that's all I was going to cover today Wii Boost a plus set power a plus this vector power unit a plus So we're walking down the boardwalk trail. I had forgot to start recording, so I had to go back and Ash is waiting on me. Just saved you a spider web. And there's ant, ant mounds everywhere. Some tall grasses. Some more ants. Remy just walked right through them. I don't think he's got but one speed, and that's full speed ahead. Well, I'll pick back up the cordon when we hit that next curve. Okay, there's part of the boardwalk where it begins.
what did happen to the last ten? I ran away with my life fast forward and never turn back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And 19 was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true. I'm just as surprised as you. Is this really happening? I can't be too sure. But one day I'll be yours again. Okay, so I fired up the generic Blackstone <laughs> and we got brioche bread and I fried it in the bacon grease, a little bit of bacon grease and honey and we have an egg and of course the pepper bacon. Going to throw it together as a sandwich and chow down. The brioche bread is actually fried in the honey. I put the honey on it and when I Dropped it on the hot skillet with bacon grease, fried it up. You see the stickiness, but man, it's good. After we ate, we decided to go hike a trail, and Millwood State Park has a couple. There is Waterfowl Way Trail, it's the shorter of the trails, it's 1.5 miles long. It'll take you about an hour and a half to hike it. It's a level loop trail and it begins at camping area E. It crosses a bog and prairie bumps and meanders through both pine and hardwood stands. There's fishing, waterfowl observation, and photography are popular activities for hikers on this trail. At Cypress Point, a picnic table is available for those wanting to rest or enjoy a picnic lunch. On this return loop, the trail passes an active beaver lodge and an alligator hole. This trail is especially popular during the fall and winter months when many varieties of migratory waterfowl use Millwood Lake as a resting site along their long journeys. The second trail, Wildlife Lane Nature Trail at Millwood State Park, is also day hikes, mountain biking. It's an easy trail, about four miles long. The trail is uh, a four mile path meandering through several hundred acres of land set aside as a wildlife sanctuary. Wildlife Lane is a multi-use trail and is designed to accommodate both hikers and bicycles. Ride and walk with respect of others in mind.
Tracing through the woods, there was some deer over here that I saw, but the time I got the camera going, it was too late. They was like right there in the water. 